You're listening to the Championship Wrestling Podcast. And here's your host, Dustin Starr. Oh yeah, welcome to the Championship Wrestling Podcast. It was another big week in Memphis for us, and I can't wait to tell you all about it. Hello everybody, I am Dustin Starr, and thank you once again for joining me today. Happy Monday, there's a lot going on as we are on the road to the premiere of Championship Wrestling from Memphis. And you don't just have to take my word for it. My Maria will join me in just a few moments to talk all about it. And I know one big subject that we're going to discuss is our brand new women's division. And of course, along with My Maria joining me, I'll also recap Saturday's program and tell you what to look out for coming up on Championship Wrestling. But first, be sure to follow at CW30Wrestling on all social channels And keep up with me at Dustin Starr. Tickets are on sale now for March 7th TV taping. ChampionshipWrestlingMemphis.com Let's run it back with the Championship Wrestling Rewind. Real quick, let's take you back to Saturday's program, which was syndicated across all Championship Wrestling and Hollywood markets. Exciting stuff featuring the best matches and the wildest moments from 2020. Last week on Championship Wrestling. Dan Joseph, the first ever graduate from the Championship Wrestling from Hollywood School, is about to make history perhaps here. Look at this, he's got the champ where he wants him. Looking he's for that got long him hooked way down. up, long way down. The Here's the cover. Oh. New official. No. Ah! Joseph has just won the championship. Dude, what? here is your winner. Indeed. Unbelievable. It's official. Making history. Dan Joseph is the champion. 500 episodes, 10 years, and this is the damnedest battle that we've ever seen. From the heavens, send SoCal distancing straight to hell. Lacey, let's do a Falls Count Anywhere match. Nico! Uh, We're going to have it? Oh, you know what? I, I can do that. Uh, that match starts now. Oh, Sign, seal, deliver. Here we go. Match four. It'll be Falls Count Anywhere, guys. Halston trying for the cheap shot. Lacey Ryan. Whoa! Halston oh! in the dumpster! Halston oh! body in the dumpster! Oh, digging into that dumpster, pulling out beer bottles here. We're right by the beach. Somebody out there having a good time. Oh, oh no! Nico! The bottle over the head! The skull of Nico Marquez! What just happened? Talk about hitting the bottle. Oh! In the end, Lacey Ryan with the running knee. Big victory. Now, get some revenge against Heather Monroe. All that and so much more on the fastest hour in pro wrestling. Watch in full at youtube.com slash championship wrestling. Saturday's show aired on all the syndicated networks for Championship Wrestling and Championship Wrestling from Hollywood. And that means we got extra TV time. So joining me right now is my lovely Maria. What about that? I love extra TV time. 120 stations across the nation. That was pretty cool. Yeah, that's awesome. We actually had some tweets where people thought that it was a mistake. Definitely not a mistake. (laughs) That CW30 Wrestling was on the syndication. Anyways, um, thanks for joining me again here, Maria, taking time out of your busy mom schedule. It's very busy, and you're welcome. (laughs) And we are premiering a brand new television show. That's the only reason I agreed to come on. Oh my gosh, so having a newborn baby, 10 weeks old? Uh, Are you serious? No, I know, I'm just... Okay. I'm just confirming. He's 11 tomorrow. Oh, okay. Well, so 11 weeks old, and then having this huge project... They've heard me talk about it, so let's hear you talk about it. Well, I will show them the other side of things. <laughs> All they got to do is go to your Twitter, at the Maria yeah, Star. Yeah, for sure, where you bring a ring home, and the only stipulation is that I still need to park it in the garage. Don't you dare take my parking spot. <laughs> now my car is parked in the driveway where there's a wrestling ring stacked up in 
in the garage. I might have told that story on here, but uh, are you as excited as I am and as all the wrestling fans are? Honestly, I don't know if I could be as excited as you are. Oh, I'm thrilled. <laughs> you're, way, you're very excited about it. I am too tired to be as excited as you are, but I'm excited. And uh, one of the things that I know you're even more excited about is that we've signed on our first women's wrestlers for our women's division. Yeah, I think, you know, I really haven't had a hand in the talent at all, really, because I'm so preoccupied with other things. But um, one of the biggest things for me was that we had a women's division. That's so important. Yeah, and I do show you pictures of everybody. Well, yeah, I mean, you do, but I'm not out booking people or getting people's phone numbers and calling them and saying, hey, you want to come work? How many messages have come in? It's crazy. I just stopped reading them. <laughs> well, anyone listening, I have not stopped reading them. <laughs> now, also, <laughs> so over the course of the two years uh, with the women's division, it is the most popular division that we have. Any of the women's division matches always get more views. Yeah, but I'm here to make sure that the women are not taking a backseat to the men. That will not happen. Oh, that's not going to happen under my watch anyways. No, it's not going to happen under my watch. (laughs) (laughs) Well, I'm kind of halfway joking here, but we do plan to have a women's championship, and we will launch that here pretty soon. Are there any favorites? Because some of these folks we have seen, but not necessarily worked with in the ring. Uh, well, f- honestly, for the last two years, most of our focus has been on Hollywood. So I think there's a whole lot of new talent in the Memphis area that we weren't even aware of right. because our focus hasn't been in Memphis. So I'm excited to see some of the talent. Of course, you know, our buddies and our favorites, Derek King and Alan Steele. Uh, and then from the girls, there's some exciting girls, too. Uh, what's what's the one girl with the queen? Oh yeah, so we have we've never actually met her in person, but we've seen some of her stuff over the over the course. So that's Caitlin Black. Yeah, her look is very interesting. So that'll be interesting to see her in the ring. And then of course, uh, we are very familiar with Nikki Lane, and, yeah. and I've always really liked her. So we're gonna have a good good roster. Austin Lane, by the way, is a heck of a fantasy football player in the championship every single year. Yeah, I'm sick of playing him. I think I'd beat him though. We've also uh <laughs> have seen Cassandra Golden. She's been in AEW Impact yeah. Wrestling. She's been here in Memphis before. We have worked with her before. She's super sweet, so we'll see if she can overcome that sweetness in the ring cuz she's yeah. maybe a little too sweet. Well, we get to be the storytellers. I don't know if you're going to like what I have to say. Well, you are very sarcastic. I think a lot of people don't know that you are very sarcastic. Okay. So... Probably not. (laughs) Are you nervous at all about doing commentary? Because I know that this is something that you and I haven't really done together, but emceeing is very similar to it. It's just not 58 minutes and 30 seconds. I don't think I'm nervous at all. And maybe I'll get nervous the day of, but I don't... The thing that I'm most nervous about, and you can probably guess this, but maybe not, is... Leaving my baby for the first time ever. It will be the first time ever. I will be leaving him in, of course, with somebody I trust. But we have a routine. So that show needs to be over by 5 (laughs) o'clock. Let's talk about the shows real quick. So the February 14th show is sold out. How surprised are you? I'm not surprised at all. I know our tickets were limited, but they were. it was nothing to sneeze at. I mean, I'm, I'm a little bit nervous that we're not going to be able to socially distance everybody, but, you know, oh, no, I'll the, be making sure of, of that as much as possible. The venue is huge. They seat 300 in there, so we're even yeah. below the CDC well, regulations. So, um, And then maybe by the 14th, you know, more vaccines will be rolling out and stuff like that. So we'll see. Uh, but back to being, just want to comment on being nervous. There are so many different games that we've commentated, and I put some air quotes around that, yeah. that we're really just calling action, telling the crowd what happened. And so we, it may not be wrestling, but we've done it enough together that it doesn't make me nervous at all. Okay. Well, good. Well, now also, um, back to the, the show. So the 14th is sold out. March the 7th. We went ahead and put the March the 7th on sale. I know, and those tickets are going like crazy already. Just a couple of days ago, and we're already halfway through. I would through say if you want ringside. a ringside seat, you need to get your ringside seat because they are almost gone already. Yeah. Championship Wrestling Memphis.com. You'll see the TV tapings and the schedule. So we have February 14th. We have March the 7th that's on sale now. 
And then, of course, April the 11th would be the next one. And they're 2 p.m. bell time. Do you like 2 p.m. bell time? We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. I definitely like that it's early in the day. Oh, yeah. It gives people time to come home from church because we're in Bible Belt, which hopefully lots of people are doing church on Zoom. But um, hopefully people will be able to leave church and then get some lunch and then come and enjoy some family-friendly wrestling. And then be home by bedtime because it's Sunday and kids got to go to school and we got to go to work. So it's funny that you mentioned lunch. Why? Because that was the next thing I wanted to talk about was food. Oh, well, yeah. If you don't get food, we're going to have food there. Oh, my gosh. We are freaking thrilled to have Topps Barbecue in the house. Topps Barbecue is so good, though, that even if I did eat lunch, I would probably eat again. <laughs> yeah, well, we eat kind of every two or three hours anyways, but Topps Barbecue will be in the house. Do you, do, do you know what kind of food they're going to have? Oh, they mentioned having ribs. What about their burgers? Nachos, barbecue nachos. They wanted to cook burgers on site, but yeah. we, we we don't want to get involved well, in, in that. Well, if, you, so if they don't burgers. have burgers, you have to go to burgers and you have to go to a top location and get burgers because they're one of the best burgers in Memphis. Yes. And then also there will be pizza. We had this pizza on your birthday. Yeah. I know. Well, you say that like it's a bad thing. It is a bad thing. We also had steak and lobster. It, no, the pizza, it wasn't the quality of the pizza because the pizza was delicious. It's the fact that I have been working my ass off. Can I even, can I say that word? Yeah, you okay. did. You already did. <laughs> you can bleep it. <laughs> I've been working bleep. my ass off bleep. for the last three weeks and you didn't even ask me what I wanted for lunch. You just brought pizza home. You because could, I knew you were going to, anyways, it don't matter. three guys, this is what you, you can You literally look. could have called and said, what do you want for lunch? This, I never would have said pizza because I've been eating so healthy. <laughs> this is what you could look forward to on commentary for Championship Wrestling from Memphis. But Topps Barbecue will be in the house. I mean, I did eat all the pizza. Yeah. But <laughs> you could have asked. Three guys pizza pies. So if you're not on a diet like my Maria, then you can definitely have a little bit of both. It's really not a diet. It's more of like a lifestyle but i lived a different lifestyle for nine months so <laughs> gotta get back on track all right we'll get you out of here so you can go do mom stuff but i think uh, i'm going to bed oh my gosh anything else <laughs> that you while want I can. to let the fans know anything behind the scenes that's kind of cool that you're like oh wow oh oh we painted a turnbuckle post in the front yard yeah i know our grass is bright blue thank you <laughs> as long as you did not spray paint my car we're no, fine. I didn't. And that's something that she was worried about is don't let the... Uh, yeah, what'd you say? And let me live here. Nobody thinks I know how to spray paint. I know how to spray paint. I can tag some stuff, man. Okay. <laughs> don't be tagging my Cadillac. <laughs> All right. Any any other little behind the scenes stuff that, that we can tell the people? Uh, really? I don't know. There's lots of drama that I don't really want to discuss on here, but... There is lots of drama, but we'll get to that when we get to the TV show because we've got some fun stuff in store. And maybe I should cut you off right there. Ladies and gentlemen, my <laughs> Maria. Look out! Here's what's coming up for Championship Wrestling. Look out for Championship Wrestling from Memphis. Oh, yeah. We are officially sold out. That's right. We are sold out of all the tickets for our very first TV tapings on February the 14th. And first and foremost, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thanks everybody who purchased the ticket to make this a very, very special day. Tickets are on sale right now for our second round of tapings. That's going to take place on March the 7th in Memphis at Top of the Line Event Hall at 2 p.m. bell time. And I'll tell you, Half of the ringside seats are already sold out, just like myself and my Maria were talking about a second ago. That is legit. So it's one thing to be a, you know, do the sales pitch, like get them now, get them while they last. Well, it's what, January 25th, and we're already halfway through the ringside seats for March the 7th. So go to championshipwrestlingmemphis.com and grab your tickets right now. Then, on February 13th, EPW, Boonville, Mississippi. You'll want to be there to see Amber Rodriguez in action. Now, Amber will be appearing on Championship Wrestling from Memphis, but first... She's going to make a stop at EPW, the longest reigning weekly show in Mississippi. So you can go to EPWWrestling.com to get more information about how to purchase your tickets. Then on February the 27th, it's the premiere of Championship Wrestling from Memphis. 
and not only the premiere of the brand new Memphis Wrestling Television Show, but also the premiere of the brand new Championship Wrestling Podcast entitled Rolling Into Mempho. That's right, you won't be able to hear me or my Maria unless we're guests on the podcast. But the official Championship Wrestling for Memphis podcast will be hosted by Brian Tremel, that's BT for those of you who are familiar with him, at Shooting the Shiznit, but then also Rhino JB, who's actually been a guest right here on this very podcast. You can check him out at twitch.tv slash Rhino JB. They are tag teaming together to bring you all the hits and misses, and, and not just to talk good about championship wrestling uh, from Memphis, but to give... The good, the bad, the ugly, their favorites, their not-so-favorites, they're going to be 100% legit. So no favoritism, but check that out. That premieres on February 27th at championshipwrestlingmemphis.com. And also, you can listen at stspod.club and right here on this official YouTube channel. That's youtube.com slash championshipwrestling. And of course, I just mentioned March the 7th is our next TV taping. Hopefully those will be sold out, but we're looking forward to seeing everybody out there. And this Saturday, our show... Championship Wrestling, presented by Pro Shingle at noon, will feature matches from Prime Time Live on pay per view. And the first in, in installment here, the main event, is going to be Nick Aldis defending the 10 pounds of gold against Mike Bennett, along with Maria. Not my Maria, but his Maria. All that and so much more. Here's a little bit of what else to expect on Championship Wrestling this Saturday. Saturday at noon, join us for Championship Wrestling presented by Pro Shingle. The NWA 10 pounds of gold is on the line, plus meet the stars of Championship Wrestling from Memphis. Saturday at noon on CW30 Memphis. Memphis Wrestling is back, featuring Dustin and Maria Starr, women's division action, and more. Championship Wrestling from Memphis. Thanks for listening to the Championship Wrestling Podcast. You can catch me this week on Facebook Live. I've been trying to go live on the Championship Wrestling page and on my Dustin Star Facebook page. It's been pretty cool talking to all the wrestling fans, a lot of guys that they mention as far as guys and gals that they want to see on our program, and we do listen. So if you go to championshipwrestlingmemphis.com slash roster, you'll be able to see the updated official roster of championship wrestling from memphis now it's not all there because we have to have some surprises and some secrets as well but it was an exciting week last week looking forward to this week and i'll see you guys on saturday in the live chat at youtube.com slash championship wrestling oh and speaking of the youtube channel if you missed it there are brand new five star matches in the five star playlist so you get to watch myself and my Maria go one-on-one -on -one for the Global Force Wrestling Championship, Nick Aldis. And also there was a special cameo by WWE legend, the former women's champion, Mickey James. Are you telling me that Mickey James went toe-to-toe -to -toe with my Maria? Go to the YouTube page and watch it. And also myself versus Chris Mordetsky, a.k.a. Chris Masters. Watch me break the master lock. Oh, yeah! I'll see everybody on Saturday at high noon for Championship Wrestling. And until then, I am Dustin Starr saying so long, everybody.